Hello friends, welcome to EduCBA's program on VBAs and macros. See, VBAs and macros are nothing but an extension of Excel and these functions or commands actually help you to automate certain tasks which you may be performing in Excel on a regular or a repetitive basis. Uh, think of you know uh, these functions which may be consuming a lot of uh, number of hours on a daily basis and you would have wished that if it would have happened with just a single click that would have been awesome. So this is where you know VBAs and macros actually come into picture. So uh, let's let me give you an example to help you understand this in a better way as in what is their exact functionality. So let's assume that you are a bank consultant and your job is nothing but to advise clients on mortgage loans. Uh, so essentially you, you are in tie up with uh, various kinds of banks like Citibank, HSBC, Bank of America and uh, you advise clients on mortgage loans. What is mortgage loans? Mortgage loans are nothing but uh, home loans that uh, uh, people take in order to finance their houses because majority of them may not be able to finance their houses fully with their set of capital. So banks actually lend loan and uh, what, whatever loan that they uh, lend essentially they charge interest on that and uh, at the end what happens is they, the, the, the one who has taken loan is obligated to pay the equal monthly installments right that's that's what happens when someone takes a mortgage loan he has to pay a kind of EMI uh, and uh, you know ensure that EMI payments are done on a regular basis now think about the various communication between the bank consultant and the clients obviously the bank consultant will advise clients on the EMIs from various banks you know uh, the client may be interested in knowing what is the minimum EMI uh, the client may be kind of very keen in terms of you know taking loans from specific banks you know he may want a printout of uh, the quotes or maybe you know he may want it to be emailed across so this is probably uh, some kind of transactions in, or some kind of conversations with this uh, uh, this client uh, that a bank consultant may have now uh, if this was limited to let's say one two or five clients on a daily basis I'm sure this bank consultant would have been really happy doing that but as and when these numbers actually grow uh, say for example if these numbers are 150 or maybe you know 200 or to an extent 2000 uh, I'm sure this bank consultant would pray and say hey I will not be able to kind of do this job help me God so that is where you know this, this bank consultant is a very strong case where he must learn BBAs and macros in order to streamline his life so I mean uh, I'm, I'm maybe exaggerating at this point in time but yes VBAs and macros are very helpful when when you want to kind of save time on mundane tasks and automate a lot of processes now this is basically a sheet that bank consultant actually uses this sheet contains details of banks and the interest rates and its corresponding processing charges there should be ideally you know different other variables as well maybe interest rates which change on the basis of tenure maybe 10 years 15 years so on and so forth so we will not kind of look at those set of complications in this stage uh, we will just look at you know a single point data to understand this as an example for VBA so uh, this interest rates and processing charges probably change on a daily basis and hence this daily update sheet is here now uh, assuming that the bank consultant had learned VBAs and macros and had kind of made this another sheet which is called as a project EMI calculator sheet and um, uh, don't worry about you know uh, understanding the whole functionalities I'm actually trying to understand what is possible through macros and VBAs so I'll just click on a couple of buttons and um, kind of con to an interface which which kind of uh, be uh, which is very intuitive in nature you know here what you may have to do is just provide your name and email ID so imagine a consultant asking clients name and email ID so let me put uh, these as an example here David the web 0484 at the rate gmail.com a loan amount let's say uh, this guy wants a loan amount of ten thousand dollars and uh, under this drop down you have the tenure so maybe for 15 years and then there's certain set of banks which are here with with a button called update now and then there are certain other buttons 
which says calculate EMI, sort EMIs, produce EMI graphs, print report, email report or do both. So you know all these tasks are done or defined through VBAs and macros. What is the functionality of update now? Update now is basically update all the interest rates for today. So um, let me let me click here. So the moment I clicked here, you may have noticed at the back end that this bank detail entries were filled with the interest rates and the processing charges uh, from this sheet, which was the source data sheet. So it automatically updates this working file of yours.